Hey, what's up everybody? Chuck the Biz back with you to do another review. Um, this one is another exclusive because um, I do believe I'm the only person that has these right now. What it is, it's the Black Boot Jalokia coming from Refining Fire Chilies, superhotchilies.com. You know the routine, just hit that thing with your smartphone, it'll take you right to the website. Um, what we have here is, is we have the Black Boot Jalokia. And, and what I have is I have three pods because the plant's kicking off variations. Every plant's kicking off different variations. So let me show you the peppers I have. And there it is. There's the black one. Very cool looking pepper. And then, the, then you have the, the, the red to the black. The red that has the black in it. And then you have the pure red one. Now what this is, this is the Red Boot Jalokia crossed with the Pimenta de Nighty. And it's coming out of Italy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this black one open. Just to show you guys what it's all about. don't have my gloves on okay there you have it looks just like any other pepper on the inside There you have it. How cool is that, huh? The, a, a black boot Jalokia. It's called the black, the Boot Nighty Cross, aka the Black Boot Jalokia. Chuck the Biz. Okay, I taste like a sweet boot. And the information is, goes this, the variety crosses between the red boot jaloki and the, the ghost chili and the pimenta di nighty from Brazil. Many Italian growers are trying to stabilize it, but it's not there yet. So if you grow this, expect variations as I showed you. It's gotten fully ripe peppers that were dark purple to almost black. Later in season, the peppers still come out that color, but had streaks of red interlaced with the dark purple. And I also had peppers from green to directly to dark red. The flavors would vary, but darker peppers on these chili plants would have a sweeter flavor. This is a fun variety to grow, but do not expect consistency if you grow it. The black boot jalokia or boot nighty cross chili plants will get over four feet tall. They're very fragile, <clears throat> so staking them is a good idea. And again, at Refining Fire Chilies, uh, their seed stock plants are isolated to prevent cross-pollination. Which is a, it's a good thing for pure peppers. So what we have, we have a nice consistent burn on my tongue. Nothing overwhelming hot. It, it, the 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 nighty can the, the nighty uh, you can taste the nighty in it. It's countering the the actual heat from the boot. It was very crunchy. It's a very thick walled pepper. 
and it has a nice burn to it. This would be a great pizza pepper. Slice that bad boy up by some pizza. Get a nice, nice, uh, nice contrast, nice texture, crunch to it.